welcome back to Just Brew It. I wanted to run you guys through a quick uh, sort of like informal video and sort of show you what my coffee bar looks like. And we did a blog post not too long ago that was called the top three essentials of an at-home coffee bar. And we've talked a lot about like, the benefits of sort of getting your coffee delivered to you and how we can sort of create a craft coffee experience uh, in our home. Now, my coffee bar is a little bit plain. We're gonna be ja sort of jazzing it up over the next couple of weeks, but I kind of wanted to show you uh, what it looks like starting off and how it has the three major elements that we talked about in a blog post. So here is my coffee station as it stands. Let's back up a little bit and get that sign in the background. And you can kind of see my beverage cart off to the side. Those kind of live together for us. The first thing we're going to look at is our coffee maker. We chose to get one that could do normal drip coffee. And I've got some in there. I'm going to get some of that in a minute. And a single serve brewer because my roommate really likes to uh, just get his coffee and go. I just like sort of put a pot on while I work and drink it all day. It's really good to have a versatile machine like that if you can. Also not pictured it is my French press which is why we have um, the hot water heater there. Okay, so the first thing we talked about in the blog post was this guy. I got this at Target. I think it was around a hundred dollars. Um, you don't have to spend that much. We just happened to find one that we really liked and that worked really well for us. It's got these two drawers here. It's where we keep our filters. So that one we snagged at Target, but you don't have to spend a hundred bucks on something like that. You can probably find something at a thrift store or a yard sale or maybe even something you've already have in your house and repurpose it for your coffee bar. We're gonna take a look at my mug storage, which is the next thing we talked about in the blog post. The mug storage there, see, isn't that gorgeous? I love it. Um, I found that set of mugs for $8 and it just sort of stacks there. So if I have company, we can use it. I also really love elephants. So that's a very me set of mugs. And then you can't really see it. We store our other mugs down there, but it's suspiciously empty. It's almost as though we drink a lot of coffee in this house. <laughs> I think we've got, yeah, this is just more coffee. And I think there's like straws and sweetener and stuff in there. All right, the next thing we sort of talked about is decoration. As you'll see, uh, my decoration right now is kind of bare and that's the part we're gonna be fixing over the next couple of weeks. I have my Happiness's homemade poster that was a gift to me for my brother. But other than that, we don't have a lot of decoration going on in our little coffee bars. So uh, what's going to happen is over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to show you guys a couple of DIYs we can do to make everything really pretty. I'm going to introduce you some super secret resources that I've made for you. I've made a lot of things like sort of free printables and some other like sort of things you can use to jazz up your home coffee bar and we're going to put those um, on the website for you to download for completely free. It's going to be super cute. It's going to be super awesome. I'm very excited about it. These DIYs will be super cheap using things you either have around the house or can find at the Dollar Tree. I, I like sort of like a vintage style, so that's going to be um, how I do it, but I am going to be including options for people who kind of like a more modern like sort of aesthetic for their home and also something that's kind of in between. I'm really looking forward to sharing these with you guys. I'm very excited. I've been working very hard. So a look for that in the next few weeks. Thank you so much, guys, for hanging out with me. I've had a great time. If you have any suggestions for, um, like, sort of coffee bar uh, decoration, or if you want to share what your coffee bar looks like with us, please uh, share with us in the comments down below. I love you guys, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!